Hey everyone, welcome to my base routine. I decided to record this so that I didn't have to show in every single video, have something to link to. Um, it's pretty much how I do my foundation every day. So I'm starting with a primer, this one's from Hourglass and I'm just putting it in the areas where I want to sort of disguise my pores a little bit and really rubbing that in quite well to those areas so it's really around my nose and that's where I find the foundation sinks into my pores quite a bit next I'm adding some Merimea face oil I don't have my full size anymore I lost it so I'm using this baby one but I love this stuff I like to put it right up under my eyes where I get really dry and then the rest goes all over my face. Next up, foundation, and I'm using the Lasting Perfection um, foundation in Zero uh, One Porcelain. And I just use a brush, whichever one I pick up that day, to spread it all over my face. This is a Delium Tools brush. And I'm just popping that all over my face. And if you put a bit too much on, don't worry, because I'm going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender in a minute anyway. So as mentioned, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, which is damp, and just bounce, bounce, bounce it all over my face to blend away any brush marks and make sure that it's all nicely blended in around my jawline. Just making sure that it's all nice and even. And taking whatever's left on the back of my hand, I'm just going to bounce that on any areas that I think need a little bit of extra coverage. So I have a red patch there where you can see me applying it. And also either side of my nose, my cheeks there get a little bit red. So I'm adding the extra foundation there. Next up to correct my under eye circles, I'm using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer and this Real Techniques Mini Sponge. I just dip it in and press that underneath, just in that inner corner where the shadows are really dark. blending that in well. Then I'm going to take concealer. I'm using the Lasting Perfection Concealer by Collection. I use shade 3 just in the inner corner which is too dark for me but it's nice and warm and I just blend that in to cover those dark circles. Then I'm going to take shade 1 which is fair, pop that over the top and I'm using a little bit more of that and just those outer corners where it gets a bit dark. I also take it across my eyelids to prime and just anywhere where I need a little bit of extra concealing. Then I'm going to take that little beauty sponge again and blend it all in. I take the tip of the sponge and I just sort of rub it back and forward just where I've got the biggest lines under my eyes if that makes sense just because my foundation does settle there to set that I'm using the Pro Artist Refill Contour 01 powder from Freedom London same sponge and I'm just setting underneath and on top of my eye with that powder And then I'm using the NYX HD Finishing Press Powder and a fluffy brush just to set the rest of my face. I'm just kind of stamping it on. You don't really want to wipe as you're going to wipe off and get rid of some of the coverage of your base products. I'm going to do my eyebrows. My favourite thing at the moment for my brows is this Hourglass Arch Pencil. 
it is a little pricey but it is good and I start by sort of outlining the shape from the underneath and then on top and then I'm going to outline the rest of the shape that I want sort of bringing it down into a point Anywhere I make a mistake, I'm just going to use my finger to sort of clean it up a bit. And then I'm just going to start filling in the shape that I've drawn. My eyebrows are totally different shapes. So I try and make them a little more angled than they are to try and make them a little bit more uniform. Then I'm turning the pencil the other way and flicking it upwards to draw some little hair strokes at the front. I'm using the spoolie on the other end of it to comb through the product, make sure it doesn't look lumpy, go back, fill in any more sparse areas. And then I use the spoolie to correct as well if I overdo it a little bit. And then I can always go back and add a bit more. And then brush out that inner corner. Make sure that doesn't look too dark. Then I'm adding some brow gel. I don't know what I'm doing there. Uh, this one's the Ico one, which I don't love, but um, it's the only one I've got right now. Um, I'm just applying a little bit of that just to set the brow hairs in place. Magically my makeup is done, but the last step of the base is to finish it with a fixing spray. This one's from Barry M. It's a dewy finish spray. I mainly use it to settle all the powders down, stop it looking too powdery and from settling in the creases. But then that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, the tutorial for that makeup you can see is already up, so check it out. Bye!